The design here is presented on an architectural C-size sheet in portrait view and it contains two floating viewports. Let me select the first of these. You can see the main design sits in a floating viewport and the color has been set to 255. 255 is white, so white on a white background will not print, so the design sits in its frame. Similarly, the second floating viewport that, can, that holds the plant schedule also has the color set to 255. When it's time to plot this out, we'll go File and Print, and I'm going to print to a cute PDF writer, and I'll say I'm going to print paper, I'm going to fit to paper. The frame itself has had a fixed scale set to it, but I digress a little. Notice that we're going to force all colors to black and we'll go OK. That will print a PDF file and all of the colors are going to be forced to black. I'll show the result in a moment. But what will happen in that case is that even though the floating viewport has had its color set to white and similarly the plant schedule set to white, because we are forcing all colors to black or monochrome, We'll lose all the colouring in the plant symbols, which is probably what we want, but unfortunately the border of the floating viewport will show. So I'll show you that result now. Well, here's the resultant PDF file, and you can see that each of the floating viewport frames now shows. If we magnify our view and zoom in a little, you can see the heavy border showing around. The, you will notice as we zoom in that the that although all lines that were coloured and arcs and so on, all primitive entities that have a colour have been forced to black, the colours within symbols, some of the symbols but not all, do retain their colour. Um, in other words, the printer driver with force all colours to black can't force the colour changes within nested blocks. But again, I digress. The key issue here is that if you want that borderline to be invisible, you must set it at colour 255 and you must make sure that that switch force all colours to black is turned off. We'll have a look, we'll do that again. Well, here's the result. When we turn that force to black off, we get the result that we want where the frames do not show. So it's just a word of warning. Be very careful about using that switch.